Hi guys, coming at you with another farm project. Can you believe it? Today's project is long overdue. Basically, the rabbits need an upgrade. They need a whole new crib. So I got out my big black sketchbook. It has all of our farm ideas and projects and plans that we've done so far in here. Futuristic names for future animals that I want kind of thing, Brad. Construction plans, pool plans, dreams, potential barn plans. It's got everything. This book, it's, it's like my little black book, but it's my big black book of farm stuff. So this morning before Jack woke up, I sat myself down on the couch and I came up with this. This is the sketch of my bunny rabbit cage upgrade right here. Ta da! What you see there is just a guesstimate. It's just me kind of figuring out in my head what I'm going to build. And then once I get into the woodwork, that's when I start figuring out actual measurements and how it's all going to come together. I'm about to take a look at my materials and decide on dimensions. And then I'm going to start cutting wood. Jack is napping. He's already been down for an hour. I wasted the first hour. I didn't waste it. I needed it. I sat down and I scrolled through my phone and I drank a coffee. And it was the best moment of my life. <laughs> so I have one more hour left to flesh out this project, get a rough draft idea. This is tricky though, because once I start a project, I get really into it. And then I get really frustrated when things interrupt me and stop me. And he's gonna wake up from his nap and I'm gonna be all frustrated about it. I'm gonna overcome those feelings and I'm gonna build some kick-ass rabbit cages. my frames now and I'm about to try and put this one together briefly before adding in the fencing and then this one if once I like that one I'm gonna go ahead and do it in a different order but um, it'll make sense in a few. Baby Jack just woke up from his nap. This is where I'm ending it. Um, I've done the bottom base. I've done the base of the actual hutch part of this rabbit cage. I have to figure out how to make it open and close. And then I also have to wrap the wire around the inside. So I've got a long way to go, but Jack's up. So we have to pause right there. Hi guys, I am not gonna be talking very much for today's work that I do on the rabbit hutch. I've put it up. I'm gonna put the chicken wire along the bottom of it. And then <laughs> I've got the air compressor running and a propane heater running because we're in that cold snap in the states right now so what i'm doing is stapling the bottom of the rabbit hutch and then i'll flip it the right way around and then i'm going to be using an angle grinder to cut the panels into shape and staple them in as well just a lot of noisy work so enjoy this time lapse <laughs> The bottom level has now got all of its netting is on and stable. Now all that's left is I have to build this roof part here is actually going to be hinging open and then also have to make the actual hutch part enclosure. You like what mommy did over there? What do you think? What I have realized at this stage of construction is that if I wanted to paint it white to match my other rabbit hutch, the only double deck one that currently exists on the farm, probably should have painted it before I put the wire on. So now Brad was like, why don't you stain it? It lasts longer than paint, it'll look great. Yes, it'll be different to the current rabbit hutch, but stain it to be this color, which is the color of our garage. <laughs> look at you in there. <laughs> You're stuck, you can't get out. <laughs> All right, friends, here we are. We have the upstairs portion also wrapped. I just need to do some bordering. This is the entrance down 
to their ramp, which will then lead down into this run area. The lid for the run is there, waiting to have the mesh stapled on. This is my tool house, but that's where the rabbits will be sleeping at night. And then I'm gonna get something to line that just to make it a bit pretty. And then all that's left to be done is to order the tin that's gonna be the roof of that that latches up and down. Um, the lid for this opens up and down and it will be done. This one has not even started construction. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit apprehensive about it just because there's so much work that goes into these. I had no idea. My rabbit hutches are way harder than Cluckingham Palace and Cluckingham Palace is like seven times the size of these but was way simpler because this one was just a whole lot of tomfoolery and me figuring it out. So thanks for hanging out sticking with me thanks for being here you guys i'm off to see my hubby and my bubby and i'll chat with you guys soon hey guys it is day four of working on the rabbit hutch and look she looks so good i made this i'm very proud um i cannot wait to put my bunnies in it so today all i have to do is frame the top so it's ready to put the lid on order the tin pick that up put it on frame the lid for the run part of the hutch and we're finished that's it, and then we can move it. I do want to put some wheels on the back down here just so I can tilt it and wheel it, and then we can move it into the big paddock and have it wherever because this hutch is elevated, it provides shade. So if they're out in the paddock, then it's not gonna be full sun all the time. So might finish it today. as much as I possibly can on this rabbit hutch. I've run out of wire mesh and I'm waiting for my tin to arrive for the roof. It's basically complete. There's a few little finishing touches. I wanna to wrap the entrance to the rabbit's little house with some kind of rubber or something just because it's exposed splintered wood right now. They don't care. It's more just for the aesthetic. I don't like seeing the splinters. Well, gee guys, I have to apologize. I got my mesh in, tin in, installed the roof and finished without filming it. I think I got excited to get it done and I forgot to hit record. But as you can see, there are now two hutches behind me. I built the other one in two days. <laughs> For this first one, it's completely done. What I'm up to now is staining it. Um, I did decide to stain instead of paint because in the future I can always paint over stain. And because the stain actually soaks into the wood, Hopefully that means they'll last longer outside in the elements. All I have to do is stain them, wait for the stain to dry, and then I can put them in. The only thing is we're forecast for rain this entire week. Um, so I'm not too keen on putting my brand new hutches out in the rain, even though they're obviously gonna get rained on in the future. It's just cause they're new and they're fresh and I want it to be a sunny day and I wanna film the rabbits going in and their reaction to their new home. Cause I'm stupid like that. But uh, yeah, I might wait for there to be no rain. So it might be another week, but here we are. Two finished hutches about to be stained. Check it out now. They've been stained. Everything is stained. I think I'm finished. I think I'm high on the fumes of the stain. They look good. Just waiting for them to dry. Then closing all the lids, attaching the hinges, and then we can put the bunny rabbits in. When can we put the rabbits in, Bob? We're gonna let them dry overnight put the straw in, set them all up, move them into the paddock, and then put the bunny rabbits in tomorrow. That's the game plan. They're going in. Hi guys, here are the two rabbit hutches. I had Brad move them into the paddock for me. He's a very strong, handsome, wonderful husband. <laughs> Over there. Um, but this is them, they're done. And we are about to transfer the bunny rabbits. Let me give you a tour of the finished product. Access is right here. And this is where they sleep entrance and exit that I have to line with some rubber and then they hop down there onto this little ramp which takes them down into this run area oh I'm so excited it's such an upgrade right, these are the current cages that I made quick smart because these two sisters at five months old when the hormones kicked in they were no longer friends and they would fight each other they were originally in Walter's cage together but they had to be separated really quick. So I threw these cages together. They're obviously small, but the back end's on wheels. And so I just lift them up by these handles and I'm able to move them around and get them fresh grass every day. Okay, which one is she gonna go in? 
we're about to make the transfer. I can't wait. Oh my god. Okay, sweetie, don't freak out. Oh my goodness. Jack, what are you doing? <gasps> what do you think about that, Nancy? Think gonna use the ramp? We'll see. Enjoy! <laughs> it's your turn. Welcome to your new crib. <laughs> oh my. Oh, sweet. Let go. There you go. Let go. <gasps> She's like, I'm freaked out. I think Dollop might be the first one out. Nope. What are you doing in there? Oh, sweetie. What you got there, Jack? What's that? Oh, yeah? <laughs> wow, thank you. You can keep them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a side-by-side -side size comparison. This is what they used to be in when they had their first little babies. This is the upgrade. It's a slight difference. Trouble with this one was I don't have any way to open the wire run portion. So I'd have to reach my arm in and through. And if they hopped away from me, I could never catch them. So I'd have to tip them up on the end. But they worked really well. They were very serviceable. Better than the housing that you see most rabbit breeders keeping their rabbits in. So um, so this is like the rabbit Hilton. Rabbit Shangri-La. <laughs> Nazi has made it out. She's sniffing around. Look at you. Yeah, you can go down there. <laughs> yeah, that's Howie. <laughs> Bought this um, rubber where you peel off these red stripes and it's sticky on the inside and it's to line my rabbit doors, which looks so much better than the open splinters, but man, it was hard to wrap and I don't know how long it's going to last. Safe to say the rabbits are very happy. Nazi's doing some zoomies, um, but thanks for watching you guys. It's obviously dark, so we're off to bed. See you next time.